Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Have you ever pondered the mysteries of the future? Have you ever wondered if there are prophecies foretelling the events that are about to unfold? Have you ever questioned whether there is a way to decipher God's will and His plan for history? If your answers are affirmative, then it's time to unravel the prophecy of Pope Francis, a prophecy that is stirring hearts and souls around the globe. Before we delve into the details, we ask for a small favor. God's blessings are entangled with each one of your smiles, to ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray together. God bless you all. Let us pray. And of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, Amen. Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love, send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit, instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be truly wise, and always enjoy your consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. Now, let's talk about Pope Francis, the 266th successor of Peter, the leader of the Catholic Church, and Christ's vicar on earth. He is a man of deep faith, humility, mercy, and peace. A man who ardently loves God and his people. Yet, Pope Francis is also a man who understands the signs of the times, who knows how to interpret the scriptures, who has been gifted by God with a prophecy. This prophecy pertains to his pontificate and the destiny of the world. This prophecy has been expressed by Pope Francis on several occasions, but most notably in a letter to Argentine bishops in 2016. In this letter, he refers to a prophecy attributed to Saint Malachi, an Irish bishop of the 12th century, who supposedly predicted the names and characteristics of the popes until the end of times. According to this prophecy, Pope Francis is the last pope of history, the precursor of the glorious return of Christ and the final judgment. His name is Petrus Romanus or Peter the Roman because he is the successor of the Apostle Peter and has chosen the name of Francis in honor of Saint Francis of Assisi, who was the son of Peter of Bernard I. The prophecy also foretells that during the reign of Peter the Roman, the city of the Seven Hills will be destroyed and the dreadful judge will judge his people. This phrase refers to the destruction of Rome and the persecution of Christians by the Antichrist, God, and the Church's ultimate enemy. Pope Francis has acknowledged the veracity of this prophecy and expressed to the Argentine bishops his conviction that we are living in apocalyptic times. He said, I do not know if the end of the world will be tomorrow or in a thousand years, but I do know that we must be prepared and vigilant. Subsequently, Pope Francis urged the bishops and all the faithful to prepare for the Lord's coming through prayer, penance, charity, and witnessing. He further encouraged us not to fear but to trust in Christ's final victory and His mercy. This is Pope Francis's prophecy, a prophecy that may leave many trembling. Yet, this prophecy should not frighten us but instead motivate us, inspire us, and draw us closer to God. Because this prophecy is not a threat, it is a promise. A promise that God made to all those who love and follow Him. A promise that says, Behold, I am coming soon, and my reward is with me, to give to each one according to his deeds. However, before we conclude, allow me to share some incredible and curious facts about Pope Francis, perhaps ones you weren't aware of. Facts that reaffirm that Pope Francis is a unique individual, chosen by God to shepherd his church in these trying times. Facts that will make you admire his courage, humanity, faith even more. Do you know that Pope Francis is the first pope in history to be named Francis? He chose this name in honor of Saint Francis of Assisi, the saint of the poor, 
peace, and nature. Pope Francis once mentioned, for me, he is the man of poverty, the man of peace, the man who loves and protects creation. Did you know Pope Francis is also the first Jesuit Pope in history? The Jesuits are a religious congregation founded by Saint Ignatius of Loyola in the 16th century, known for their dedication to education, mission, and service to the Church. Pope Francis stated, I am a Jesuit in my spirit and identity. Did you know Pope Francis has led a very adventurous life before becoming Pope? He worked as a chemist, bouncer, teacher, priest, bishop, cardinal. He even had a girlfriend in his younger years and was close to death due to pneumonia. Did you know Pope Francis possesses a great sense of humor and loves to joke? He once said, a Christian without humor is not a Christian. Humor is a grace from God. He has even made memorable jokes, like when he told journalists, good evening and good rest, and pray for me so I can sleep well. These are just a few among the many incredible and curious facts about Pope Francis, which unveil his rich and fascinating personality. Pope Francis is a man who knows how to balance simplicity with depth, joy with seriousness, tradition with innovation. Pope Francis is a man who speaks to people's hearts, listens to their sufferings, gives them hope. Pope Francis is a man who speaks to God, listens to his voice, carries out his will. Pope Francis is a man who has received from God a prophecy, a prophecy concerning his pontificate and the fate of the world, a prophecy we must understand and embrace with faith and hope. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and that it has brought you closer to God and His truth. Before we part, let's recite a final prayer together to thank God for His prophecy and to ask Him for the strength and faith to face the apocalyptic times. Repeat these words with me, Heavenly Father, I thank you for letting me understand the prophecy of Pope Francis, the Pope who announces your return and your judgment. I thank you for showing me your will, your power, your glory. I thank you for granting me hope, peace, joy. I ask you to forgive my sins and to purify me with the blood of Jesus, your beloved Son who died and rose for me. I ask you to accept me as your child and to allow me to enter your kingdom. I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit and to help me grow in faith. I pray you guide me at all times, in all places, under all circumstances. I pray you help me stay prepared and vigilant for your return. I pray you protect me from all evil and temptation. I pray you use me as your instrument to bring your message to all those around me. Heavenly Father, I love you with all my heart, adore you with all my soul, praise you with all my mind, and serve you with all my strength. I thank you for everything you have done, you are doing, and you will do in my life, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope this prayer has been beneficial and has blessed you. If you would like to continue praying with us, please consider subscribing to our channel, where you'll receive daily reflections and prayers based on the Word of God. Remember to give us a like if you found this video useful, and don't forget to comment and share it with your friends and family. Your interaction helps us to reach more people and to continue spreading God's message. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Stay blessed, stay faithful, stay vigilant. Amen.